All right, guys. So I wanted to go into a quick story about uh, my first sales meeting uh, ever, like when I first started this whole thing, uh, how that went, what kind of things I did wrong and where I kind of messed up and would have done a lot better job. So the way that I was, I prospected this, this client, this prospect was, um, it was using a site, I think it was Craigslist and what I did, it was, I, I, I didn't pick a single niche at this point. I was just going after everyone that I can basically <laughs> get a meeting with and what I did is I, I, I sent them a message, um, you know, got them on a meeting. I forgot what exactly I reached out to them, but got them on a meeting. And what happened was we met up at a, at a coffee shop in Irvine here in California. And, uh, they were a mom and pop e-commerce store. They were, well, they were in cosmetics. They were, they were starting an e-commerce store. So, uh, what I did is I met them. Um, and I was completely lost on like, I had no idea on how to sell. Like I was just kind of like, I'm just going to find out what they want and then just pitch what I have, like what I can do for them. Right. So, um, I went in there, um, they, they were late. Uh, I ended up waiting there about 10 minutes. No big deal. I was just preparing my presentation and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, at that point I had like a pitch deck and all that stuff. So, um, they ended up coming in, uh, we sat down, got to know each other a little bit, uh, and it was actually the woman who was the actual, uh, the one who, who dealt with the cosmetics, and she was kind of like the face of the brand, and then the husband who was more on the business side, right? So, you know, there was two of them right there, and we just kind of got to know each other for just qu quite a bit. The guy was, you know, wanting to get straight into business, so, we we started talking about what it is that they want like what is it that you know they were looking to do they told me about how they need like a blog an e-commerce store all this stuff like seo and you know they they basically need the works like full digital marketing for everything that they want to do everything that they've been doing offline they want to transition to online so what I told them was like, okay, great. So you, you want to do this, this, and this, I understand. I'm going to show you what I can do. And it was very unorganized. It was like, when I was going through all that stuff, it was, it just had no structure. Um, I was just going through like random things about, you know, <laughs> things that didn't even matter. Like they didn't even ask for this kind of stuff, but I was showing them like, here, my company does this, this, and this, and, and here's what I've done before. And, and I showed some like Instagram accounts that I've grown before. And uh, they were like, okay, cool, cool. Like what, what, what is this like all cost? And at that point, I remember I was giving them like just prices off the top of my head, like things that I felt like I could just like, I could, I could reasonably charge this amount for, for this and this. And the guy was just like writing it down. Um, and at that point it was kind of like uncertain. Like I didn't really, I, I don't even think I asked for the business. I just told them what the price was and they seemed like, Oh yeah, like this seems great. Da, da, great. And I remember saying like, oh, I'm, I'm excited to get started. Um, I think there might've been like a misunderstanding there because what happened after the meeting was I never heard from them again. I never heard from them again. Um, so that was one thing that was really like, I didn't, I was new to business. So I didn't really understand like why that was like, does that normal? Like, does that usually happen? Um, and looking back, there were a couple things that I would have definitely, definitely changed. Right. I definitely <laughs> straight off the bat, I would have increased my fact finding. I would have built a little bit more rapport and gained control of the conversation, right? Gaining control is everything. Like if, if the prospect has the control, they're not going to, they're not going to turn into a sale. Um, what you want is you always want to have control. And when I say this to you, I'm more so telling myself as a constant reminder of how sales work, right? I've noticed that it's always about having the control and the person with the most control is the one who's asking the questions. So I, I noticed that the, the guy was very like, uh, it was a little bit confrontational, but aggressive. So he was asking a lot of questions. And at that point I wasn't really like too savvy when it comes to, to sales. So I just kind of went along with it. Like, yeah, he's asking me questions. I'll go ahead and answer. Right. 
No, uh, I would have guided the conversation and finding more about what it is that they want. Um, I only got a little bit about what, what their current situation is, a little bit about what they want, but I didn't understand what their main obstacles and what their problems were, right? I didn't understand those pain points that uh, would have really helped me in, in closing the sale uh, later down the line. So that's one thing that I would have changed. I would have really taken control and gone deep into finding deep into finding their pain points, what their goals are, uh, what, what they're looking to accomplish, a little bit more about their current situation and what they've got going on. Um, yeah, that's definitely something I would have I would have definitely improved on. I would have asked for the sale. I completely just would have made it absolutely clear because I felt like towards the end it was a little bit wishy-washy. It, it was very unclear. Like both sides were kind of just like, yeah, well, this is the price. And oh, okay, it sounds good. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to you, right? Um, and then they asked for like a proposal. Uh, that's another thing that I would change. I would have actually brought the agreement uh, to the actual to the actual meeting, right? And before that, um, before even doing all that, what I would have done is instead of just having one meeting where I do the fact finding and, and just finding, you know, having the intro and all that stuff and finding out a little bit about each other, then going for the sale, is I would have had like a 15 minute chat, just find out a little bit about what it is that they want, um, a little bit more into the fact finding, and then I would have put together like, a agreement with everything that I can do for them and then on the actual meeting at Starbucks where we met up I would have brought it up had everything ready to go and gone for the sale handled the objections because I know that there were a lot of objections that they had but I didn't address them and that was uh, I mean even now to this point um, it's one of the things that I really try to um, practice and deliberately put my attention on is handling those objections you know i i even have like a, a sheet of common objections that i have i drill myself and and try to really make sure that i'm prepared right you you want to go into a situation like this fully prepared you know you're going to be hearing a lot of the same stuff guys so you know things like i need to think about it um you know this uh, too much money uh price is too high um what else uh, give me like two weeks. Uh, I need to talk to my wife, spouse, uh, business partner, all that kind of stuff. You, you're going to hear a lot. So I would really prepare myself for that, right? So if I were you and, and you're going to a, you know, you have a meeting set up, I would, you know, go over your script if you have one or, or some sort of structure that, that you're going to follow. And then what I would do is drill on you know, objection handling. So find someone else who is doing similar, something similar to you. Um, go on Facebook groups. There's a lot of people. I've done that before um, to increase my skills when it comes to face. I mean, to to sales. Um, role playing is huge, guys. Um, so that's how my very first sales meetings went. Um, it's been a long journey since then, learned a lot. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know um, for some of you, especially those of you starting out, um, you might be wondering, you know, what's it going to be like? What, what should I expect? Um, that's something that I didn't even know. <laughs> like I just went in there just not knowing what to expect, wasn't, full, wasn't prepared at all. Um, and that's a good thing and a bad thing at, at the same time. You know, there were a couple things that, you know, I could have prepared myself a little bit more. But I just want to share that just to kind of share a story of my first sales meeting. And if you guys have any other questions um, when it comes to what I do for sales, um, any other objections that you guys hear or anything like that, then drop it in the comments below and let me know if this video was helpful, if there's anything that I can answer for you guys. All right. See you guys in the next video.